tires just getting worse. And I remember looking at my buddy, and I remember telling him, I'm like, we're gonna fucking die right now in this car. Like, Fancy fly beats. Yeah, well, since I was a kid, I had always been into cars and motorcycles. My daddy got me into them, and, you know, as I got older, I'd stuck to cars and bikes um, and gotten a lot of trouble with them over the years. I remember when I was about 21, 22, I had to be early 20s, uh, I was shopping around on Craigslist at a really tight budget and I was broke at the time and I needed a vehicle uh, where I lived. So um, I stumbled upon, upon this ad, uh, this guy was selling this Audi A4 and he, was, he wanted I think like a grand or 800 bucks for it, some shit like that. Um, and I knew I only had 500 bucks, so I'm like, you know what, um, I'm going to do the best I can to walk this guy. So, I eventually called this guy and I told him, you know, my situation and, you know, I need a vehicle and here's what I need, and blah, 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 the car kind of needs some work. And we agreed on a price of 500 bucks, so my brother took me out there and I picked up the car. 500 bucks which was pretty awesome she sits for about a week <laughs> a week and a half before I can get it registered uh, and when I finally get it registered and insured she's on the road and all hell breaks loose so you know a young 20 year old with no money and aspiring dreams to be the best driver um, you know I want to upgrade the car as it naturally would be so the first thing I did was start upgrading and um, I put a better turbo on it um, straight piped it, painted it myself, fixed that weird front bumper thing, um, and you know, the car came along to actually looking pretty nice, aside from the weird janky ideas that I came up with, like painting the wheels pink. The car worked out well, and her name resulted to be Emmy. Emmy was this sweet Audi that I had just bought for 500 bucks a couple months ago. I took it to Soho. It's not Soho now. It's called European Experience out in Savannah, Georgia. But went out with my buddies and we had a fucking blast. <laughs> it was a great time. We had a blast. And we get back and I knew like something was weird because everybody's car started breaking down. And Emmy was the only one who didn't have any weird sort of problems. But everyone else's car in the group literally started to wig out. And um, I knew, I knew, I didn't want to say it for a long time, but I knew. And I would think to myself like, shit, man, like, I know Amy's time is coming. Like, I just hope it doesn't happen when we're like out of state or some shit like that, you know, right? So about a month goes on and I arranged this trip to New York. Throughout the weekend, I believe it was on a Sunday, I had a flight to catch, and that Saturday, uh, I had to work. And I had been working at Audi at the time, and I had just left my house, and I was with my best friend's brother. He was riding with me because we worked at the same dealership, uh, and <laughs> I remember getting on the highway, and it was just, it was like 9.30 in the morning. It's perfect time, literally, to like just... See what your car can do, you know, because no one's on the, you know, it's, it's 9.30 on a Saturday morning. Like, nobody's on the highway. Like, we're all, everyone's fucking asleep, you know. So, but for whatever reason, I'm not speeding. So I just cruised my way along, and it was odd to me because usually I'm very aware of my surrounding when I'm riding or driving. And this guy, I didn't see him because he had been hauling ass, and he comes flying past me. And I look at my buddy, and he looks at me, and I'm like, you know, okay. That was kind of crazy, like, how fast he passed us. But something was off, because as he got up a little bit ahead, he just slammed on his brake. And I'm just, like, freaking out, like, the fuck just happened? Like, there's nobody in front of you. Why are you slamming on your brakes? So he, he gets to my window, and he's trying to, like, you know what he's fucking trying to do, dude. You know what he's trying to do. And I'm trying to ignore him. You know, when you're driving like a race car or race inspired vehicle, you know, a lot of people are going to want to test you. I understand it would provoke other guys who are into that. And this guy just would not stop. He would speed up and slam the brakes, speed up, slam the brakes. And I'm like, all right, dude, look, 
If this guy does it again, because it's starting to get unsafe, this guy's like jerking and shit, I'm just going to leave him, you know? And he's like, all right, man, do what you got to do. So I said, all right, cool, no problem. So sure enough, he speeds up and he slams the brakes again. And this time, when he does it, I downshift twice and I dump the clutch. It didn't take too long, but I was able to gain enough distance on him to where there's this hill right before my exit. And if you get enough distance, you won't see someone driving along. So I kind of just got enough distance on him and I started to slow down. And I merged over to the far right lane. I'm in fifth gear. And I slowly downshifted into fourth and easily let off the clutch. Like, I just remember everything just blacking out. Or I should say whiting out. Uh, everything went white for a second because I couldn't see. Uh, there was this huge explosion under my hood and I guess from where the rain tray, you'd seen the rest of it and everything was just white. Um, and I remember smoke and, and just oil all over my windshield. It's eyes just getting worse. And I remember looking at my buddy and I remember telling him, I'm like, we're going to fucking die right now in this car. Like, Luckily, we didn't die. Uh, I was able to pull over. This sucks. <laughs> Me and four out here. Like this. I knew something was off though this morning when I left. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck it sucks. And I remember freaking out. I was trying to stay as calm as possible. Um, I think I even recorded a video of it. it sucks, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, guys, well, tow truck driver came here. Thank God. Um, back to the house. Hopefully, I can diagnose this shit and figure out what's going on. And, you know, I knew that that was a wrap on Emmy at that point. Um, just there was oil all over the engine bay leaking from the bonnet uh, and you know I got her back home I pulled ahead and sure enough cylinder two had seized up the piston ring uh, it had seized in there and gouged this huge hole into the cylinder wall so we had rid the engine dead um, so at that point I just stripped all my parts that I put in the car and jumped the Audi for 250 bucks and I cried as she drove away on the flatbed so yeah that's what happened with Emmy cheers to Emmy